Hello friends, hello family out there. This is evidence that the end is real and this 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 vision was got by my little brother. He's going to say it in our local language and I'll be trying to interpret in English. The end is real existence of of heaven is real. And this is the evidence that God has sent down from heaven today for you to listen and for you to understand. Mm. I dreamt. I had a dream. It was just like a game. I was controlling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, controlling. There were two, there were supposed to be three. Two boys and one girl. Then, when I was going, our whole world was a dump store. Then I had a man saying, help me, please help. Then Then we went and helped him after helping him. Me was controlling the other ones from a distance. And I said, ah, let me first let go of these ones. Then after Nengenda Uh-huh. There I went outside. And I looked at the moon. The moon started changing. The moon, the moon got a portal. People started wondering what is that? Mm-hmm. When they were wondering I, what was that, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, that's when people started rioting instead. No, I told them no. I told them no. Don't you see that the moon there may be a chintechi echibamu wengulechi ja? Then there was a pulling force pulling us from the hole. Then echintu something echintu chingamba temutia. Then a voice told me, don't fear. Then that's when the pulling force came, came down and, and put us to the ground. Then in, in, that, in that thing that was... Where the pulling force was coming from. It started taking someone else, they also beamed me. And they were taking me. I thought that was the devil trying to destroy us, but it was very few people who had remained on earth. So I thought the power, the power was taking me in the form of a beam. I felt this power and I knew that this is not usual power. I said, eh? 
The power was feeling majestic. So that's when I knew that this power is not for the devil. And I knew that the end has come. In that time, mm. so, so at that moment, I had a man saying, help me. He was saying that, help me, help me, all of you, help me, please. And I knew that that is the man that I, I, might, I might have forgotten to help. So there I asked myself, what should I choose? Should I help that man? Or should I go to heaven? But I chose to go and help the man. And I went to help him. I sent a, I, I pushed a big a big structure. And it fell on. It fell on a, on a pressure pressure switch. Then that's when the pressure switch <coughs> let go of the prison where he was in. Then he said, thank you. When I went back, all my, all my friends who, are, who I was controlling had gone. The, the whole earth had become I said, hey, what is going on? When I arrived, it was already too late. I had no other chance to go to heaven. And then I said, if my friends had already gone, I can connect with them. And I see what they see. When I connected to them, they had just come out of that portal which was which was on the moon, which appeared on the moon. I could see what they see. And see first before some other places, before the real heaven. Baso say the place where they were, it was not it was it was not heaven, it was a planet, another planet. When they reached on that planet, planet they were very beautiful. But said, eh? Planet The planet had no clouds. It was open, it had no atmosphere. Hey, so I wondered how do these people breathe? I was wondering. There was not even a single planet. The planet had a beautiful and so no lava planet Pluto. I could even see other planets, there were no buildings. So, the whole planet was open. I could see the other planets. That photo took them. Planet. They went the, to that planet. I saw them when they were eating. I was wondering. How can they be in an open planet? Without losing breath to, to without losing breath. 
So I say that this must be God's power indeed. I saw all those things when I was on this earth. When I was when I when I, I saw all our earth was already destroyed. Destroyed. I was wondering. Why does the earth become so black and so dark? I and I said to myself, Oh, was this the world where we used to live? The whole earth was destroyed. The whole earth was destroyed. Was this the world where we used to live, the world of a deception, a fake world, a bad, a, a dirty world, the world of deception? Said, eh. So I feared. When I feared, I feared I first searched if there is any one. Anything that had life on this world. When searched. When anything. Apart from the other man that I helped. But that man went to heaven instead. The, power, the beam came for him and took him and he went to heaven. The man I helped. So that means I remained on earth alone. Then I saw when the devil was trying to, to, to torture those ones, other people. Who had remained on earth with me. But me among them I was good. Mm-hmm. They were torturing people. I was on earth like for a thousand years watching the devil torturing people. I couldn't do for anything for them. The entire atmosphere of the earth had become black. Only a few of us, only a whole country, one country of us, a country only. Of the human beings. Yes, Only one country of human race had remained behind being tortured by the devil. The only one had gone to heaven, but I was one of them, but... I was me, one of them, but... For me, I was one of those ones who had to go to heaven, but... I had to go to heaven, but... So I was wondering why are there are very many people being tortured by the devil. Twali abantu bokka bagenda mugulu yali yalinga country yokka yali nga the people who went to heaven were very few it was just like a country. Abantu batinyo the rest there were very few people who went to who went to heaven. The the Alaska devas galao, and they were being tortured by the devil. That is how my dream ended. So friends, you have heard for yourself. Uh, I don't need to explain anything here. Self-explanatory. The end is real, and being left behind is real, and the devil is coming. My little brother got this dream after I was after the Holy Spirit led me to teach them yesterday in prayer about the end. And I just told them that the end is coming, that is all. 
I didn't tell them any revelations. I didn't read to them any scriptures in revelations. They, they didn't watch any movie, because for us, we don't watch TV, to say that this came from a movie. But to tell you, the thing is, the end is coming, my friends. And it's about time that you wake up. Because there's, there's something you said at the end of your dream. Towards the end, there's a voice. Voice, voice was a big voice. Mm. Yeah, in that dream, people were starting to riot. It was a very big voice. Say, mm. don't fear. Mm. Don't fear. It is I, your Lord. It said, don't fear. It is I, the, your Lord, who created you. Don't mm. fear. And the people stopped rioting. Yes. Then there is a voice said that said the end is here. Mm. The big voice. Big voice that said the end. My friends, wake up. Mm. The end is here. My, My friends, friends, wake up. My friends, wake up. The end is here. Wake up from whatever you have been doing. Walk the right way. Do things the right way. Help the needy. Help those ones who are sick. Visit the prisoners. Share the little you have with your brother, for the end is here. My friends, my brothers, let us share that new world with Christ in the good new world where there will be peace and harmony. This is evidence, and this is evidence that the Lord indeed has spoken. Let everyone who has ears listen to what the Lord is telling the church.